السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مدی برزر سسٹرس ویلکم بیک ٹو انادر ایپیسوڈ آف دا ہجرا چینل آئی ایم یاسر ایز اے سینج یو پیس لو گریٹنگز اینڈ بلیسنگ فرام اے ہوم ولیج ہیئر ان آزاد کشمیر پاکستان آئی لیف بریٹن تھری ایئرز اگو ہیونگ سرڈ ان اے برٹش پولیس فورس فار سکسٹین ایئرس آئی جوائن دا پولیس ان ٹو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ فائیو ٹو اپ ہولڈ دا ٹروتھ اینڈ ٹوڈے is like uh, going into a burning building to help those who are trapped inside only for them to punch you in the face and ask the question where is the fire where are the flames and where is the smoke that is how difficult it is to teach the truth recently there has been some footage uh, circulated on social media showing uh, young asian men Uh, going around in uh, various McDonald's restaurants particularly in Birmingham and dumping rodents and mice on the floor um, this is absolutely shameful behavior uh, the people the staff the general public and the customers who are present within McDonald's stores have nothing to do with what is happening in the Holy Land today and whosoever is committing these uh, horrendous acts uh, should be ashamed of themselves Uh, because this is not part of our deen and it's not uh, part of Islam. Uh, such people uh, perhaps need to remain at home and go to sleep. Um, in our previous episode, we spoke about the world order of Gog and Magog and how they are closely linked to the state of uh, Israel uh, and how uh, the link uh, is with Zionism, uh, Europe, Great Britain and the United States of America. We will continue that subject of Gog and Magog as to exactly where these people came from and there is no better chapter in the Quran than chapter 17 uh, Surah Al-Kahf uh, entitled The Cave. Uh, this uh, chapter talks about uh, a number of stories, poignant stories which are all linked to the end times. Uh, one of those is about uh, a man named Zulkarnain, commonly known as the Great Traveler, who traveled to the both ends of the land uh, and on three journeys Uh, on his final journey he encountered uh, Gog and Magog. Uh, I will continue this uh, uh, episode with some slides which will give you some visual reference as I go through the verses of uh, Surah Al-Kahf uh, from the Holy Quran uh, and you will uh, instantly see uh, the link uh, with what is happening between Russia and Ukraine today uh, because Ukraine is another country which is very closely linked to uh, uh, Zionism and very closely linked to the world order of Gog and Magog. Uh, I try to keep this uh, video short, uh, hopefully it will give you some insight into uh, the link between uh, Ukraine and uh, the state of Israel today. Thank you. The Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him instructed us to read Surah Al-Kahf every Yawm al-Juma uh, every Friday and that we would be given light uh, and nur by Allah Almighty uh, up until the next Friday which will uh, allow us to see so uh, if uh, we still cannot see that means we are just reading the surface text without diving into the ocean of knowledge contained within this chapter. Uh, in other sayings of the Prophet uh, وسلم, he directly linked Surat Al-Kahf with the Dajjal, the Antichrist or the False Messiah and therefore this surah is directly linked to end time events. We asked the question is it therefore linked to what is happening uh, not only in the Holy Land but also Ukraine. And we say, yes it is, in the story of Zulkarnain, the great traveller who, tra- traveler who travelled on three journeys. On your screens you will be able to see a map uh, with the main area up north being Khaz area. Uh, you have the Black Sea just below it. Uh, below that you have the Byzantine Christian Empire. Uh, and towards the right of the map, just above Persia, you have an area called Khorasan. which is uh, today Afghanistan. Uh, verse 85 says uh, Zulkarnain followed uh, one such way until he reached the setting of the sun, i.e. he travelled westwards towards the west. 
until he came across uh, the Arabic word Ainin Hamiya, uh, which means dark, murky, black water. Uh, and most of the commentators of the Holy Quran confirm this to be the Black Sea. Uh, it is the only sea in the whole world which is dark, murky and black, hence the name Black Sea. Uh, Zulkarnain was asked the question, how will you deal with these people? His answer was that I will punish the oppressors and I will liberate, help and assist the oppressed. Verse 89 then uh, goes on to say, he uh, uh, having completed that journey followed another way until when he came to the rising of the sun. So he moved away uh, from the Black Sea and started heading eastwards uh, towards the area called Khorasan. But notice uh, Khorasan, I believe in Persian language, actually means the rising of the sun. So not only is he heading towards the physical rising of the sun from the east, but also to a region which translates to the rising of the sun. And today Khorasan is Afghanistan. Uh, Zulkarnain was asked the question, how will you deal with these people? Uh, and his answer was that I will leave these people as they are, for they have no protection from the sun. Uh, so these people leave, uh, live a primitive way of life and uh, I will not interfere with them. Uh, and of course, when you look at the history of Afghanistan, uh, many superpowers have, uh, have gone there to, uh, to uh, destroy them, but they have left unsuccessful. Most recently, the United States of America um, uh, ran away and, and, and fleed from there. Uh, verse 92 then uh, uh, talks about the final journey. He then followed another way until he reached a pass between two mountains. When you look at the map, the only mountains that exist in that region are the Caucasus Mountains. And indeed, the Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains have uh, one small pass uh, for which you can enter and exit uh, the region from uh, behind the mountains uh, to, to the front of the mountains. The locals, uh, the local community living there uh, pleaded and begged uh, Zulkarnain uh, to help them and assist them as they were being oppressed by Gog and Magog uh, and the words being Kalu ya Zulkarnain inna ya'juj wa ma'juj mufsiduna fil ard that Gog and Magog are spreading their corruption right across the land so please help us. And Zulkarnain built a barrier. He built a large wall to block the pass, uh, thereby denying uh, entry to Gog and Magog, who then remained stuck behind the wall. Uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, continues in the Quran to say, uh, uh, one day this wall or barrier will come down uh, by my authority and Gog and Magog will uh, will come out of the mountains and they will spread out in all directions. When we look at the history of the, the, the Khazar Empire, the Khazarians, they were a violent, warlike people who lived behind the Caucasus Mountains. Um, and what happened when they managed to, uh, uh, to breach the barrier, uh, they had a little dilemma in that uh, on one side, uh, they had the Byzantine Christian Empire. On the other side, they had the, the Persian Empire and the world of Islam. And on a, another side, they had uh, Judaism. Um, they didn't uh, want to accept uh, Christianity or Islam. So they chose to take on, uh, by putting the cloak of Judaism on uh, and uh, identify themselves as Jews. However, they formed various tribes including the Ashkenazi Jews and eventually they spread out uh, predominantly to the west first into a Europe. But if you look at the map very closely, you will be able to see uh, Kiev is a key part of Khazaria. And uh, when you look at the map and compare it to the map of today, you will see these regions uh, and why Ukraine is so closely linked to the world order of Gog and Magog. You will also be able to identify uh, exactly the role being played by Russia, uh, who are returning to their 
orthodox Christian roots today, thank you to Vladimir Putin. And if you look at some of the speeches recently made by Vladimir Putin, uh, you will understand that he understands uh, the historic uh, role uh, that is being played by um, uh, uh, the world order of Gog and Magog and also the Christian Empire. Uh, and of course, uh, Russia is fighting the very same barbaric people located in Kiev, whose leader Zelensky is a fake Jew. Uh, he's not Jewish by descent. I would suggest he is a, a European Jew. Uh, and long ago, Vladimir Putin of Russia decided to stand up against the world order of Gog and Magog. Uh, and Zul Karnein, uh, Zul meaning twice, Karnein meaning epoch, i.e. there will be two ages in which history will repeat itself. Uh, historically, the story which the Quran talks about, uh, Zulkarnain built the barrier and thereby blocked Gog and Magog. He uh, checkmated them. And today, Russia is doing the same to modern Western civilization. He has checkmated them. And so, the United States of America, uh, Europe, and Great Britain, who have been waging war upon Russia and uh, more importantly, have been waging war upon the Christian way of life for uh, many, many years now uh, are, are, have found themselves on, on the back foot with Russia who has suddenly become a, a superpower because Allah Almighty has granted Vladimir Putin and Russia uh, religious insight uh, and extreme military power in which they can uh, overpower their rivals and the oppressors of the world today. And so there you have it, uh, the story about Zulkarnain, the great traveller, uh, whose foundations were built upon faith and who was bestowed uh, immense resources and superpower. Uh, he was someone who travelled the land, um, punishing the oppressor and helping and assisting and protecting those who were being, being oppressed. Uh, and today we see history repeating itself. Uh, Russia, uh, whose foundations are now uh, built upon faith, um, who uh, of course are a, a superpower, uh, are now standing up against the oppressors of the world. Uh, they uh, commenced their special operation in Donbass and eastern Ukraine, um, but this is uh, not something that has started recently. This has been going on for many years now, um, where uh, the Western world has been targeting Russia, uh, who is returning to her Orthodox Christian roots. And when you look at the two, there is a, a massive difference between the, the speech of uh, Russian leaders and, and the speech of Western leaders. Uh, those ones in the West are arrogant. Uh, their speech is full of hatred. That is perhaps why they have given carte blanche green light to the state of Israel uh, to commit uh, corruption, uh, bloodshed, uh, war crimes, genocide and all those other horrendous acts that the state of Israel is committing not just against Palestinian Muslims but against Palestinian uh, Christians and, and Palestinian Jews and the ultra-Orthodox Jews. Uh, I saw some videos recently in which uh, um, uh, brutality against uh, the Orthodox Jews by the Zionist uh, State of Israel's uh, armed forces and police. Uh, this one on the east, however, Vladimir Putin, um, there is no arrogance in his speech. Uh, he is humble in his mannerisms and he speaks up for the oppressed as he is speaking up now for the, the people of Palestine. Uh, and so, uh, in the story of, uh, of Zulkarnain, the great traveler, he blocked Gog and Magog, he contained them behind a barrier. And now uh, Western civilization is on the back foot because uh, Russia uh, is, uh, is also uh, blocking them. So at the moment they are not engaging in direct war with Russia, but uh, I suppose eventually it will lead into a, a global conflict. Uh, and we know who the winner will be because uh, uh, there is no rival to truth. 
uh, truth will always prevail over falsehood and um, and so these are some of the reasons that I left Britain um, it's nothing to do with the uh, the police force or the the people that live in Britain some of the greatest people that I met in my life are the men and women uh, who are serving on the front lines of the various police forces up and down Britain uh, they are absolutely fantastic people uh, some of my closest friends and uh, also uh, a lot of other people uh, that uh, live in Britain um, who are unaware of uh, what the establishment is doing who are unaware of their own history who are unaware of the historical process and the events that are unfolding in the world today but uh, if they were to read the Old Testament um, everything is there for them to uh, Jesus uh, peace be upon him Allah's blessing be upon him uh, is to return one day and we Muslims can't wait for that day um, it, it is a shame though uh, people have moved away from religion uh, because that will ultimately seal their fate uh, regrettably so uh, sorry this video has gone on for for a little bit longer than expected again uh, thank you very much for watching uh, in our next episode uh, I will talk a little bit more about uh, Eastern Christianity and how there is a specific specific verse in the Holy Quran which talks about an end time alliance be between the uh, Orthodox Christian world and the Orthodox Muslim world uh, and I can bet you a bottom dollar it won't be uh, Western Christianity uh, because uh, unfortunately they are following the Antichrist um, thank you until next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh